what is up guys, cause it's 42 here, and welcome back to the channel again. Once today, we're back to some more of the Ender King. Um, and yeah, so last time we left off, we didn't really do much, kind of discuss what was going on with the channel, but today we actually do have some things we need to get done, uh, which mainly includes Tinker's Construct. I was going to save it for an off-camera project, but I decided, you know what, let me do it on camera, uh, so I can get it done and not goof around with it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's currently nighttime right now. I just finished getting a crap ton of stuff. My shovel is actually almost broken, which is kind of disappointing. I didn't realize the durability wasn't that great with these. So that kind of blows. But life goes on. So I got a bunch of grout, which is currently smelting right now. Um, so we're going to have to wait on that to finish up smelting. But while that's smelting, we can actually do some other uh, things, which was setting up another portal. Uh, now, I might actually have to go to another for this, because I don't think I have enough here. Yeah, I don't think so. That's okay. That is fine. We can go to the nether and get some of that delicious glowstone because we're going to be making a aether portal. We're not going to it today, um, but I do want it for future episodes, uh, probably near future, to be honest, where I go to the aether and kind of check out the aether and see what's going on there. Now, did I have... I did, okay. Because I forgot last episode we didn't actually go downstairs and give this quest in. I completely forgot. Um, I should still have it. Yeah, there we go. Four diamonds. Okay, six for cookies. Got my house. Okay. That's a nice little gift. Four diamonds out of that for something simple that we already had. Because luckily when we get into the nether, there's just a giant gas, port, uh, gas thing right there. Now, I think I broke it all, but, I mean, it's not there anymore, which is kind of nice. So, there's also a couple other things I want to craft while this is going. So, I want to make uh, the deco craft stuff. Um, I think, I think, deco craft. There we go. Because we can get some medieval looking items out of this. So, I wanted to look into it. I just kept forgetting to. So, I think it's just called a bench. <laughs> It's either a bench or a crafting table. It's one of the two. Uh, table. Doop, doop, doop. Where is the... What's it called? Ant Echo Craft. I forgot what the hell the bench is called. Hmm. That's gonna be annoying. I gotta like look through these now and see where it is. Uh I'll find it. One day I'll find it in here. So I'm looking for this. I guess we can get up to the question of the day, uh, which was from two episodes ago because I didn't do a question of the day last episode. Uh, which was do you prefer to dogs or cats? And the winner of that is Mini Nuke, with your very funny comment. Uh so yeah, just keep up the work down there, you guys. You know, when I when I ask questions, make sure to answer them down below and you might be put on the sub wall. Where is this thing? Why do I not remember what you're called? I'm so confused. What is it called? I just don't remember what it's called. There, oh, it's just called the deco bench. So why is it without the bench? It didn't come up. All right, whatever. Okay, so we need clay and then the three different colors. Um, so I, I think I should actually have all those to be honest. And now my people are complaining about food. Because they like to complain about stuff. Because they can't do it themselves. Okay, so I needed that. Uh, what else was it? A crafting table. Which we can make very easily. We'll just need to put these diamonds away. Eh, get in there. And then we need lapis, green, and red. Do I have flowers in here? I don't think so. That's okay. I can get that from outside. Uh, yes, I know. I know that y'all are very hungry. I'm sorry, I just need my green really quick. Give me the green. Thank you. Okay, so you need that. Clay block. Crafting table. So bang, bang, bang. And then I need red and blue, which I already have a crap ton of blue. So now I just need the red, which I can just get from a flower outside. So that's easy enough. Um, I'm sure there's a flower around here somewhere. There we go, right there. So yeah, so while we're waiting for all that stuff to be smelted around, I figured I'd get this stuff done. 
Um, I also need to look into getting a restaurant, I believe it is called, or something along those lines. What's up, Tobias? How is this chest looking? Got about six things of raw chicken, ten eggs. Now, who is complaining about food? Oh, it's Tobis. But you have food in here, you dumbass. Aye, aye, aye. These people, man, I swear. Oh, rotten egg! I didn't know if you'd be able to collect those. Good. Okay, so how does this work again? Uh... I forget. I have to look back at my book. It was something about rotten eggs. I think it's for the... Uh... What are they called? I forget all of a sudden. The cockatrice. I'm pretty sure that's what this is for. Cockatrice, 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 cockatrice. Here we go. Okay, yeah, rotten egg. Very rarely a chicken can lay a rotten egg. These eggs are a little value to a farmer, as they do cannot be perfect food. However, when thrown, there's a very rare chance to spawn a baby cockatrice. These cockatrice chickens imprint on the thrower of the egg and will serve them for life. Fear the cockatrice or its prey. A tame cockatrice can be made to sit, follow a patrol by interacting with it with an open palm. Feeding the creature seeds will heal it. They can also eat rotten flesh off of the ground. Tamed cockatrice will also fight to the death to protect their owner. Um... Mm. Okay. So, it's a red chance. But let's see. Let's know. Alright. But I did look into see how you can actually tame other cockatrice. Even wild ones. So, that's pretty cool. Got a little bit of a read on that. To look into. So, I'm okay with that. Anything on the bulletin board of use today? Is in need of an axe. Okay, I will get you an axe. Anything good? Stone, 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 dirt. I could do that one. That's easy. Raw fish, signs, cactus. Nothing really crazy. No. Seven diamonds. That's not worth it. Eight diamonds. Not worth it. Books, dispensers, wheat, cactus. Yeah. None of those are really worth it. I'm starting to realize the bounty board isn't really that great just because of the high amounts of stuff you need to get minuscule amounts of gold now if gold was like a currency then i could see it being as a, as useful because you know like but i have a bunch of gold i'm not gonna waste my uh my materials and stuff on just getting little tiny pieces of gold you know it's not worth it there we go it's a deco bench and this thing is super useful um oh I need to get it away from the window. I hate it when it latches onto the windows. Yeah, right here is fine. It's a little uneven, but I'll put something there, I'm sure. I'll figure it out. So, for this, I need clay. But right now, I'm using all my clay for this, which actually should be done soon. Um, so, I'm going to go to the nether really fast. Grab some glowstone. And then hop back. Probably build the portal on the ship somewhere. Maybe on the top part over there. This is like my portal ship at the moment. <laughs> Who would have thought that having a ship for portals would be a thing? But it is, and now it's now it's a thing. Yeah, I can put it up here. Yeah, that works. It, the only thing that bothers me is that it's uneven. So I might move these around. Let me put them on this side instead. But for right now, it's fine where they are. And I could always readjust them and fix them. For whatever I feel the need idea to do with these things. So we have so many portals and so many different things we have to do and collect and yada yada yada. So there's just so much stuff for me to do. It's hard to put put it into like a 20 minute. The world is spread out before you. Something about the specter. I couldn't read what it said. I think it was my thumbcraft stuff. What is that thing? You're weird. Okay. So we just find some glowstone. Oh, perfect. Right here. Dope. I don't have to go far. Ow. Those things hurt. <laughs> I also have to get rid of my Easter skin soon. It's past Easter. I keep forgetting to uh, change back to my normal skin. So for people who are just like just joining the channel are probably really confused on why I was wearing a bunny skin. Uh, but that should be enough. No, it's actually not. I actually need a little more. Um, bang, bang. Okay. I didn't bring any. Yes. When you don't have anything else to use, just use the soul sand. Because why not? Alright. Just break these. 
get as much glowstone dust as we can, and then we can build our portal. We also need to get a bucket of water, which I think I might actually have in my bag. If I remember correctly, I think I put one in there. So I will double check that and see if I have it there. I'll leave that piece for now. All right, let's grab all the glowstone. This would be more than enough. I can also have some left over for later on. Now, the reason why we're building the Tinker's Contract thing now is because I need to check and see if, like, the ores work with it. Because if not, then that might be an issue. I've also heard mixed things about you guys. I don't know exactly what you do, but you might actually steal items. So I have to be careful around these little dudes because I don't know exactly what they do. I have heard that they steal items that are dropped. I'll test that at a later date. But I was, I was told very mixed things about them. So, I'm not gonna try and be super friendly with these guys, at least for the moment. I didn't put as much as I needed. And uh, there we go. Put that with that. Okay. So, let me see. Somebody here, someone. Oh, they moved over one. <laughs> it's blocking the stairs. I can put a staircase right there if anything. I do need more. Let's just make a crap ton. I can always uh, put it back into regular. I'm also forgetting how to build a portal. Okay, it's three. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just completely forgot how to build it. My brain just like just completely forgot how to build a portal. So let me just swap that and then bang. Okay. Bang. And then pop, pop. All right, there's our aether portal. And then we can, of course, build the other one on the other side. Or even on this side, actually, might be a better idea. Because then we could just walk through it when we get on the boat. But okay, so do I have a bucket of water in here? I do. Good. Fantastico. All right, and there's our aether portal. We have our aether portal. We have another portal. We have two of the three? Uh, three of them, I think I want to say, uh, that we need. Because then we also need to create the twilight forest one. Um, I think that's it with portals or dimensions, I would assume. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Um, I will, of course, double check with all the mods I have in here. Because it does get a little uh, hectic trying to remember every single mod that I have. But, let me see. So, this is not going to be a crazy amount. Considering the amount of stuff I shoveled up, I felt like it should be a larger amount of items, but it's not. Oh, I forgot I have to bring a Tobias and Axe. So let me do that. Uh, he needs that to beat down the chickens. Friendly, of course. Friendly beatdowns of the chickens. Uh, so let me do it in two, in two, in two. And... Okay. And then let me do that and that. Oh, I grabbed too many. Let me actually just fill that up. Put the glowstone there. There we go. So then I will give him all these axes. And then I can go outside and start building this uh, smeltery. Now, for those of you who never used Tinker's Construct, I'll give you a basic briefing of what it is. So, Tinker's Construct is basically a mod that allows you to duplicate ores. Not like duplicate as in getting an ore and then making like an unlimited amount of them it basically makes it two times so if you have one iron ore it'll equal two iron ore and it'll smelt it into two ingots basically is how it works um there's also additional features on top of it which include why are you gonna let me open your inventory whatever all right we're putting the axes in there are you good now are you okay all right good um so additional things on top of that it also include uh, making it so that you can make weapons out of the ores that you smelt. There's also th three ores that are added. It's manuelium, ardenite, and something else. I think it's three. I, I can't remember exactly, but I think it's three uh, that got added ad onto like an additional amount of stuff. Now, I'm basing this off of memory. I don't have the book. I also don't want to use my shovel for this dirt. Which is why I'm not do, uh, using my shovel. So I'm pretty sure it's three by three in here. And then on the outside, it's also the same. Uh, and then you just build up, really. 
That's about it. I'm gonna have most of my stuff on these sides. Just because I'm probably gonna break this out and put a door here. And then on the other side, I was planning on putting a door. Just having a couple doors in different spots. So that way I don't have to be constantly running around. But for now, we're just gonna fill this up. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so that's all we can do right now. But that's basically how it works. We also need to make a couple other additional things for it, which is like a drain, which is this item. Uh, smelter drain. We also need a couple other additional things. If you can see through here. So we need the controller, which is eight of those. We also need a faucet. We either need a basin or the other one, which I cannot remember the name of right now. You see a tank. A couple other little things we're going to need for this. The glass ones are just kind of for if you want to be decorative and you actually see the items, which I usually like to do. I, th I think it looks prettier that way. Instead of just being this gigantic chimney of sorts. Um, but let me see. So, if we go in here, it's actually this chest. It's not that chest, it's this chest. So I got this, got my gravel. Uh, do I have any sand left on there? Sand, 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 sand. No, okay, so I need to get some sand. I need sand for not only glass, but I also need it uh, for the rest of this build. So I figured I'd just try and get this done. Since I was being lazy about it for the longest of time. Okay. Got that beautiful Minecraft music going in the background. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'm going to give you guys a question today pretty early in this episode. I mean, we're about to be finishing up here in a few moments. But I'm going to give you guys a question today. So as you guys may or may not know, uh, our Minecraft finishiados here would probably know about this, but Minecraft 1.14 has recently come out. What is your favorite feature of the new update? Personally, my favorite feature as of right now, just looking at it from my point of view, I haven't touched it yet, but just looking at it, my favorite option or new thing that has been added is the raid system. I think that's a really, really cool feature. It's especially really a nice touch for like an RPG type of player for this type of game. I just think it's a really good idea. I also just used all my sand. Mer, I'm stupid. Can't believe I just did that. Yeah, let me just swap those out. Give me the sand. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I think the raid system's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure how it works is that, like, randomly you'll get an event. And it'll be like, oh my god, watch out. There's, like, these evil villager dudes coming to attack the village. You must defend it. And, like, a bell goes off, and you get, like, a little timer and stuff. Um, but I think that's a really, really cool idea. I think it'll be used, or at least it should be executed pretty damn well, considering how villagers work and stuff. They kind of just run away. Uh, so I think it'll be pretty cool for the people who like to play Minecraft, but in an rpg -ish type of way. I think it's going to be pretty fancy. Uh, so we need three more. Perfect. Just the amount I needed, actually. <laughs> So I'll put that there. So I got the smeltery controller. And then I need the seer tank, which we need to put lava in. Um, I don't recall having a lava source anywhere, but we do have the nether portal, so I mean, I guess that works. And let me bust this sucker out. And then I'm going to put that one there. And then we could possibly be able to finish this up. So bang, bang. Cool. All right, this works. Sweet. I just need fuel for it. And then other than that, it's good to go. It's a small one, but I mean, whatever I can do for the moment, because getting this stuff without um, Project E is a bit difficult. So I gotta do what I gotta do as a Minecraft player in the fantasy era. But yeah, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, kind of happy I got this done. It's not completely done, but it is done. Now, next episode should be interesting. I do plan on attempting to go into the nether. Either that, or I might be looking more into uh, Ancient Warfare. Just because I want to see what that mod does. I also probably will be doing some stuff off camera for the village. Maybe setting up a few little houses and stuff like that. To make sure these people don't get more pissed off at me and they hate me more. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. 
This is Christian 42. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. I do have a bunch of fun things planned from here on out. I also want to go dragon hunting to try and get my own dragon. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be getting done within these next few episodes. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, this is for me. This is Christian 42. And I'll see you all later.